like I need to address. Um, you have to be able to confront yourself when you are on the journey of self-help. Guys, so this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing... This is a cardigan from BP. I actually got this from Nordstrom Rack. These are just regular fleece line leggings. I'm just wearing a sports bra under here. This like cardigan thing is actually way, way, way warmer than you would expect. Um, so I'm like kind of low key boiling in here, but I also love it because I run cold all the time. So I literally just recorded like a giant thing with myself like talking to you guys and um i guess it completely didn't record so that's a fun way to start the no complaining day challenge um okay basically the reason that i'm doing the no complaining challenge and what this all is and how it started is just um, a year ago, I was meditating a lot, I was writing in my morning pages every single day, I was doing affirmations every single day, and I was just a lot more sensitive and a lot more in tune with what I was feeling and thinking. I wasn't purposely not complaining, but I was just paying a lot more attention to my thoughts, and I was trying to think positively, not let my negative thoughts consume me, and when I did that, I had no idea how negative I was really being. And it's the same thing and now. I'm sure that I'm complaining a lot more than I think I am. And it's something that I feel like I need to address. Um, you have to be able to confront yourself when you are on the journey of self-help and personal growth. Because if you're not willing to like tell yourself that like you're kind of full of bullshit and that you could do better, then what's the point? Like The whole point is to be able to encourage yourself and to be there for yourself and to force, not force yourself, but to help yourself grow into a better person genuinely and you can't do that without addressing your current faults and your current issues so it's like these little things that we might not think are negative thoughts like they're not absolutely the worst things that you could think you know but when you add that up like when you're outside and your first thought is it's too cold when you get in your car and the first thing is you know, it's too messy, there's like receipts in the cup holder, there's stuff on the floor, it's way too messy. Then you, you know, you get to work and you like think about how you don't want to be there, how, you know, the coffee pot ran out, how you have to refill it, like the dumbest little things become major issues and even though they're still small issues on our on a day-to-day -day basis, if that's, if everywhere we go we find one small issue, then what is our life after a week? It's a series of small problems that we just keep stringing together and that's not really healthy for anyone, you know, you shouldn't be like going from issue to issue or doing like the things that you have to do in life and only looking at the negative side of it. But when you change every single thing from, oh, I have to do this and, oh, this is unfair and, oh, this is not right, like that, when everything that you're thinking, even though they're small little tiny thoughts here and here and here, you know, at the center of all of it is my life sucks, my life isn't good enough, I'm not good enough, and everything is kind of a shit show and like that's like the central mechanism of all your thoughts and then you have these little bursts of thought here oh it's a little too cold for me right now and that means that my life kind of sucks it's a little too messy in my car right now and that's kind of not great my dog had an accident that's not great you know and so you're just feeding all these different reasons into this core thought of why life isn't great for you why life isn't fun, why you're not enjoying it, um, and you're centralizing all your thoughts around that core statement without even knowing it. I don't want you to say, work is going to be so fun, I'm never going to have like a stressful work day ever again. Like, obviously it's great to think that way, and um, but it's okay to also be honest with yourself and be like, yeah, my job's a little stressful, but you know what? I got it. I got this. It's okay to acknowledge the reality that it's stressful, but then the important part is saying that you got it and that you can do it. And when you are using little things to reward yourself um, when you are thinking positively, when you're focusing on what you can do to make that situation of commuting a little bit better. Like, you could think about that, or you could go with the first scenario being like, there's receipts in my cup holder, my car is messy, I'm going to freak out and have a miserable drive to work and not enjoy it because my car is messy and I don't deserve to have a good life. When you are rewarding yourself and talking about, you know, everything great and 
and being realistic with yourself, but also focusing on the positive, you have that central thought system that's saying, you know, I'm strong, I can do this, I'm smart, I'm capable, I'm willing, and all those things are in the center of your bubble because you're saying, yeah, I have a 30 to 45 minute work drive to work, yeah, there's probably gonna be traffic because it's Monday morning rush hour, but I have this really funny podcast that's gonna make me laugh and distract me and keep me, you know, occupied and having fun. And, um, you know, if that's what it takes to have that positive energy, yeah, hell yeah, find something funny. Find, like, a great album that you absolutely like. And that's what it should be about. It should be about not hurting yourself, not stopping yourself, but just enjoying your life and what you put out into the world and feeling like you are strong and capable in that central thought. So, I'm gonna get to the rest of my Monday. I really need to have a coffee. But I wanted to vlog this moment because it's, uh, like, 8 or 9 a.m., um, been hanging out for a couple hours, clocked into work, been working a little bit, and then I found out from my boss that I'm basically on, like, an attendance warning or something, um, which is super, super annoying because I've only missed twice, and the last time I missed was, like, a huge weather alert, and, like, everyone missed except for ten people were able to get there in their cars, and even one or, one or two of those ten people that came into work that day got in terrible crashes that, of course, our job isn't going to help pay for. Um, so that's super annoying, but I wanted to vlog this because, obviously, when I got that message, I wanted to complain. Um, and I'm pissed. I'm really angry, and I feel like it's important to show what it's like when you're angry and when something happens and you're mad about it because that happens to all of us. Um, but it's still important to turn that into a positive thought and to turn that into action. Obviously, I'm not happy, but at the same time, I do feel like this is a healthy push to be able to go into a new job direction. So um, in January, I ended up taking like a one-on-one -on -one course and I was able to take a course to kind of switch careers. Um, so I learned a lot about that. I'm like still working on some like software tutorials and stuff like that on my own, but I'm pretty much ready to start applying for jobs. And But I feel like it's the best time to just move on. Like I feel like these little things, it's like you could keep letting it piss you off or you could do something about it and I'm choosing to do something about it. Make your life work for you and if it's not, working for you and there's absolutely nothing you could do, there's not a single other job that you could get or a single other thing you could do, then change your attitude, you know? Be like, I'm realizing that I'm internalizing this because I do have an attendance issue and I am finding it difficult to go in and that might be because that job isn't right for me, you know what I mean? So if you can't get a new job and you can't deal with that head on, then you're gonna have to just fix your attitude and and find a way to make it fun, like I was saying. Um, and that's a really important lesson for me right now because I wanna be petty, I wanna be like, well fine, then I'm just not gonna clock in, like I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna have a terrible day at work. But it's like, no, you need to rise to the occasion, you need to learn what you need to learn. And if that includes, you know, confronting someone to ask what's going on, then that's fine. Um, but other than that, you know, you, you can't just sit there and be pissed and, you know, act like the victim because that's not going to get you anywhere and you're just going to wait around till the next situation where you can feel like a victim again. But yeah, I'm going to get back to work, but that was super annoying, so I wanted to include you guys in on it and I wanted to walk you through my mental process of uh, whether I'm complaining or not. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> this as well um so it's a lot going on and hopefully it's not too boring um i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can but like i said it's a lot of me just sitting at different computers just working on either my full-time job or youtube so um it's been good though i did want to say that it's been um a really interesting journey even though it's only been two days because um i started to notice how much i became a little bit more solution focused now of course in my mind i've still complained the last couple days like yesterday you saw how angry and annoyed i was about work stuff and then today um you know I haven't had as much of a need to complain, but like the first thing I thought in the morning was like, oh my god, I'm not ready for this, like, and little things like that, and um, so I've been managing it better, but it is kind of an up and down, like, roller coaster in terms of like how quickly my brain just wants to complain about something or point out something is wrong. Um, but what I have realized and really enjoyed is that um, I've been a lot more solution focused. Um, sorry if you hear sounds, by the way, there's like construction happening literally right next to me. So, um, but there's nowhere else for me to park. So we're doing this. I just noted, like in my mind, I was starting to complain, um, you know, just about like how much I had 
how much I was gonna work or how like even though I'm getting overtime pay I have to make up the hours from the last Friday that I missed so until I work eight extra hours I'm not even making overtime money um, so little things like that have been like kind of annoying and have been things that I wanted to complain about but then I started really thinking about it and being like solution focused instead so I was able to talk to my boss and I'm able to work from home um, and do overtime today which means that I don't have to cram in my eight extra hours in the next two days um, that gives me a lot more time and then by Thursday I or even by Wednesday I'll be earning actual overtime pay so at that point I can decide whether I want to keep um, you know getting more money and making a much higher wage per hour than I'm used to so just time and a half or if I want to give myself that time to work on my YouTube channel, um, not feel bad that I missed a day of work last week because I made up the pay for myself, um, and I can go that way. So I'm really give my, giving myself the freedom and the options um, to basically pursue whatever I want to. And it's been really empowering because instead of complaining or putting myself in like a victim mentality, I'm taking control of the situation and just being like, well, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. So how can I make that happen as quickly and as easy, easily as possible? Um, so that's been like a huge positive effect from not complaining is immediately because in my mind, I'm like, no, you're not supposed to complain. You're not supposed to complain. It's training me to not only recognize those complaints and become more aware that I'm doing that, but it's also then giving me the ability to be like well I don't want to complain that's not what I want in my life so how do I just avoid that entirely managing priorities but um, finding something that works for me and using that to encourage me and to motivate me and to remind myself that I chose where I am I chose to work from home I chose to you know start this YouTube channel in the first place and it's allowing me to be much more grateful than to just you know complain and feel like even though I'm choosing to do these things, I'm still a victim um, because that's a mentality a lot of us carry around and it's really taxing to feel that way. So I wanted to say that. Um, so I'm going to end this here. I'll show you what I get onto the rest of the day. Like I said, it's probably going to be boring, um, but I'll show you what I can and otherwise I'll catch you tomorrow. So today was definitely a really long day. I clocked in at 6.30 and didn't get off work until 6 o'clock. But I actually was getting ready for bed and I was like, you know what, I don't feel like I'm ready for bed. I don't feel like I've fully shaken the day off and I don't feel like I've reset. And I didn't want to sit there and complain and, you know, talk about how bad my day was going or anything like that because it wasn't a bad day. It was just long. Um, it was out of the norm with how much I worked and stuff. And so it was just throwing me off of my routine a little bit. So I thought instead of just, you know, sitting there to the camera and complaining or not doing anything and just going to bed, I push myself to just meditate for a little bit so I just sat here I stretched because um, my back was definitely hurting from sitting at the computer all day long and um, I just gave myself a little bit of time to breathe and the interesting thing about it was that I actually uh, remembered my meditation video my meditation challenge video that I did um, and I thought about how it was actually pretty easy to fit in just 10 or 20 minutes of meditating in a day and so I just made myself um, do that and take advantage of that and honestly this really really did help reset me and just kind of bring me back into a more healthy mental state with the whole no complaining challenge obviously I don't want to get stuck in negative thoughts and I don't want to be more negative than I really need to be but of course every day isn't going to be perfect and like I said today wasn't a bad day but it just was a little bit out of the usual um, but at the same time it wasn't a big deal I was still able to work from home so it really was like not the end of the world by any means and so instead of you know forcing myself to do the same things that I always do I thought it was important to 
just reorient myself a little bit so instead of complaining or instead of being like oh my god this day was so long and so terrible just deciding to take a little bit of time for myself that I don't always do um, kind of made it have that extra special feeling of um, self-care but also it just helped me reorient my thoughts so instead of going to bed anger just said you know what this is what I have to work with I have this next 20 minutes before I just go to bed that I have that spare time so I'm gonna take the maximum use of it as I possibly can and just sit here with myself no music no podcast nothing just for a few minutes and just get myself back together and it was remarkable how much just you know 10 20 minutes of meditating really made of a difference in my day try and find little things like that that you can do for yourself instead of complaining or instead of letting yourself wallow because honestly I probably would have sat there either talking to my boyfriend about how annoyed I was or just sat there scrolling through Instagram thinking like bad things about myself it would have been entirely possible to just feed the negativity, but switching that up and being intentional about it and saying, you know what, today wasn't the best day I've ever had, but I'm not going to let that get to me. It was still great. Um, that's really important. And just kind of rechanneling that energy into something a little bit more positive, even if more positive positive is just not thinking the negative because when I was you know sitting there meditating it's not like I'm thinking oh my life is so perfect my life is so great this is my dream life I wasn't thinking that but I just wasn't thinking the negative thoughts and being able to take that time away from that negativity and just put a pause on that really made a huge difference in just the rest of my day and in in, in being able to just have a nice peaceful rest that night as well actually on my roof right now it was just a really sunny day it's like 72 degrees in Colorado which is crazy it's finally spring the sun is out so it just feels beautiful and I thought I would just come out and soak up some of the sun um, and I thought I would just bring you guys with me and we could have a little chat um, so yeah as you saw I didn't really end up filming much yesterday basically I noticed that when I tend to complain it's because I my ego feels bruised I feel like I'm not good enough I feel like someone else is doing something better than me I feel like someone else is shining more and obviously that does hurt your ego and that does affect you um, and I didn't realize that complaining was kind of my mechanism to get through that like I'm like oh this person is so blah or you know it's not unfair because this or that but that's not what's really going on what's going on is that my ego is bruised I'm hurt and I need a way to lash out to make myself feel better and I don't like you know go crazy or like get in fights with people or get in crazy confrontations or have like insane gossip sessions it's not like that but it's more just like my negative self-talk um, it really shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that I shouldn't like immediately feel the need to uh, feed my ego if it is bruised and that's something that I have realized now that I need to work on and I probably wouldn't have made that connection if it wasn't for doing the snow complaining challenge so I wanted to share that with you because that's like a huge breakthrough um, I yeah I just realized that it is kind of that lashing out process that kind of spurs that negative self-talk or that negative talk of other people and what I realized and why I'd I've been feeling great recently and then literally just yesterday and today I was just feeling like a little bit iffy and I think that's been because I've been focusing so much more on my ego um, rather than taking time to really push my higher self up and it's been because I've been focusing on like the surface level ego things instead of really going deeper and doing something to feed my higher self so I thought you know yesterday with meditating that was a huge step and today um, just coming out and sitting in the sun because I know I can't I know I can't spend the entire day outside going on a beautiful hike or something like that because obviously I'm working but I'm still at home I'm still in a great position so to be able to come out on my roof and sit in the sun for five or ten minutes in the middle of my work day is honestly a blessing and I've been able to be so much more grateful because I'm focusing on deeper things that make me feel more appreciated um, I feel like 
this isn't normal for me, but recently with social media and just Instagram and stuff, I've been getting so much more lost in it. And before I was able to just stay off, like I didn't even have an Instagram, a personal Instagram until four or five years ago. And that's really late. I was like 20, 21. But recently I've just been so consumed by it. And even like reading comments or seeing hate on other people's photos, like all of that has just been really affecting me. And I feel like I'm more focused on you know, am I pretty enough in this one video rather than, you know, what am I really saying and what message am I spreading? And I needed to really just take a step back and focus on my message and what I'm feeding myself as well as what I'm putting out there. And that's been so much more like calming for me. Like I spontaneously ended up taking a social media break after I woke up and checked Instagram and realized it wasn't doing anything for me this morning. And so the rest of the day, I haven't been on Instagram. I actually haven't even been on YouTube and like watched videos or anything. I've just been completely like checking out and checking off of social media and being more in my world and then you know, when I had a break, just coming outside and spending a little time out here, um, you know, just taking a little bit of extra time to prepare breakfast and lunch, which I made today, and eating that, and um, just little things like that have made such a big, have made such a big difference. Um, so that's kind of the piece that I wanted to share with you today. I'm sorry if this vlog is getting boring. I'll be doing a lot more Friday and Saturday, so hopefully that'll pick it back up and keep it more interesting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to enjoy a little bit of time outside, remind myself of what's good, remind myself that I don't need to post something or to take a picture of it for it to be a beautiful moment that I can just enjoy on my own and giving myself that break from having to post, from putting everything on social media and from just looking at social media all the time has helped me just not focus so much on my ego and on the stupid surface level thing. Well, I gotta get back into work and it's also getting really loud, so I'll see you guys later. Peace. Came inside from the window and look who's on my bed. Were you waiting for me? Were you waiting for me, sweetheart? Yeah. Yeah. She's being a good girl. You got a potty. Yeah, let's go. So it's Friday, finally. I've been working overtime again today and I'm so happy that the week is over. So I'm actually celebrating by hanging out with a friend and I wanted to just bring you along. We decided to go on a beautiful hike. It ended up being really, really cold though. So we also went out to a restaurant to have dinner. Um, and yeah, it was, a uh, kind of a hard week as you saw but honestly I'm really glad that I did this challenge this week. I was able to learn so much and um, something else that I wanted to put out there was that you know because of my lifestyle and the way that I'm just constantly working and especially working from home with both my YouTube stuff as well as um, doing my full-time job from home, I get kind of stuck obviously in the same place. I spend a lot of time in one area and getting out of the house and doing something totally different as much as I can or anytime I have like a good chunk of free time is so, so important. I always make sure that Friday afternoons are my time to just hang out. So I normally either see friends or hang out with my boyfriend and our mutual friends. Um, but it's really, really important for me to just completely get out of my space as normal Normal. And that in itself honestly helps my anxiety so much and helps me kind of forget everything that I was complaining about because I mostly, like I was saying in Thursday's video, how I kind of lash out when I get anxious and how that kind of turns into complaining. Um, I'm trying, I'm realizing now that that's a separation that I need to work on. So I'm trying to do what I can to just be less anxious so that I'm not so hard on myself. And hopefully that will cause me to lash out less. So I'll obviously keep you guys updated on my channel with all of that and how it's going. Hey guys, so I had a really, really bad panic attack on Saturday. It's actually Sunday now, and I just took all of Sunday to honestly hang out, um, 
participate in a lot of different self-care activities. I did have a little bit of editing and obviously some filming that I did, but other than that, I just really took this day to take care of myself emotionally and just kind of take a step back and take a lot of pressure off of myself. Um, so obviously it was rough having a panic attack and totally freaking out, um, but I think it just kind of goes to show that mental health issues are mental health issues and that's just kind of what happens but I still want to show you that it's completely possible to complain less and to have some level of control over your thoughts and your decisions and your actions um, and so I hope that you know even though this wasn't the easiest week for me I hope that it inspired you to push through you know some of the hard weeks or some of the bad days that you're having and just ask more of yourself and um, show yourself that you know, you deserve to have a great life and that you deserve to be happy and that you are in charge of that happiness. So go out there and get it, make it happen for yourself. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Happy healing.